It would seem that so far opposition leader Raila Odinga has not made a mistake. Every move he has made has paid off. At the beginning, you'll remember, if I can remind you, that he started off with a protest against the officials or the commissioners of the IEBC. The whole uh, idea with the campaign then was to make sure that the whole lot of the IEBC were replaced. When that campaign started, there were a lot of people who saw that, uh, who felt that it would lead nowhere. But look at what the situation is today. The whole complete IEBC was overhauled and today we have new officials in office. His popularity today is no accident. Yeah, It's very easy to look on the surface and say, oh, it's just luck, oh, the guy has been there for so long. But the truth is, the secret of Raila Odinga is a very solid think tank. What has emerged from my research is that uh, this tank, this think tank rather, has created space for Raila Odinga and has created a path for Raila Odinga that gives him his best chance yet and his best stab yet at the presidency of the Republic of Kenya. The truth is, he has kept the establishment guessing. When they're expecting protests, when they're expecting that Raila would get his uh, rowdy mob back into the streets, it never happened. Instead, he went in a different direction. Yeah? Um, it's very interesting. Just, just look back. If you think I'm trying to favor the opposition, or if you think, you think I'm trying to be a NASA person, uh, just step aside for a while and just look back. There's a lot of wisdom and there's a lot of things you can see with the wisdom of hindsight. You know, bird's eye view of looking where we've come from. Yeah? And if you look where we've come from, this opposition leader has hardly made a wrong step so far. And I emphasize the so far because in politics, it's easy to make a mistake. In politics, mistakes are the norm rather than the exception. More so in such a high-stakes game. Yeah? And uh, you'll remember, even as I've started this recording, I've given credit to one thing and one thing alone. A solid think tank that is very clear on the objectives, that is very clear on the goal, that is uh, being chased. So is Raila Odinga the next president of Kenya? Is Raila Odinga the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya? <laughs> I can't declare that now. Nobody can declare that now. It's still too early in the game. But the, but the whole objective behind this recording was to point out what is happening, or rather what has happened so far, where we have come from. But let's face it, this has to be Raila Odinga's last stab at the presidency. At 72 years old, actually became 72 on January 7th uh, this year, uh, it means that in the next general elections in 2022, he'll be 77. Yeah, Not very old, you'd, you might want to say, but in the rough and tumble of Kenyan politics, it will be a tall order for him to have another stab at the presidency. Not only that, if you look at him today, the way he moves, the way he operates, um, there's a lot which has been taken out of him. It is unlikely that he'll have it in him for another serious stab at the presidency. So really, for all intents and purposes, this is his last stab at the presidency. And if it doesn't work, it's all over. So in other words, there's very little room for mistakes. Actually, no room for mistakes. It's very interesting the way I talk about think tanks uh, in a book I wrote in January this year called 2017 Elections, This is What is Said to Happen. Uh, actually, the... A reader, or rather a member of Club 1999, drew my attention to the book, or rather he asked me something that uh, forced me to look back. And when I referred back to the book, I was just taken aback at how virtually everything predicted in that book has come to pass. Okay? And uh, that is the reason why I'm offering it. You can actually get a copy of it and look and uh, see for yourself. And in the book, I talk a lot about think tanks and how past presidents have used think tanks very successfully 
President Daniel Arap Moi, when he had a very major challenge in 1992, used think tanks very effectively to be able to ward off very serious opposition from uh, the then very united, very strong opposition that had united to remove him in power. Actually, looking at uh, Moi in early 1992 before the elections, it looked like uh, definitely there was going to be a change of guard. But as the year progressed, thanks to the think, think tank, he was able to find loopholes and he was able to cash in on mistakes made the by the opposition so that he was able to retain power. Some would say he rigged the election, but the whole issue was the way he played his cards. Okay? So think tanks are extremely important, extremely important. And it seems that Raila Odinga has the best think tank in this race for the 2017 elections. I'm not trying to favor any side. That is my analysis. That is my opinion. And I think there's enough evidence from what has unfolded so far. Okay? Anyway, let me not get uh, so deeply into it. Let's wait and see how it plays out. But at least, at least I've uh, sounded you out on that. You can get a copy of uh, my book, 2017, uh, 2017 uh, Elections. This is what is set to happen. It's actually available at a very, very reasonable price. It's only 399 You can actually use the number you see on your screens right now. Order a copy. And the big uh, rider here is that you'll be able to get free membership to club 1999 for one month so i really suggest you go for it yeah this is chris kumakucha thank you very much for your time till next time